In this tutorial we will use YOLO V8 with ROS2. YOLO V8 is the newest state-of-the-art YOLO model that can be used for object detection, image classification and instance segmentation tasks. We will integrate YOLO into a ROS node, create a custom message, a publisher and a subscriber. YOLO V8 is an anchor-free model. It predicts directly the center of an object instead of an offset from a known anchor box. Anchor-free detection reduces number of box predictions, which speeds up non-maximum suppression. Non-maximum suppression is a post-processing technique that is commonly used in object detection tasks to eliminate duplicate detections and to select the most relevant bounding boxes that correspond to detected objects. Also, YOLO V8 uses mosaic augmentation during training. By stitching four images together, the model can learn objects in new locations, and against different surrounding pixels. This helps to generalize the model. But mosaic augmentation can be detrimental if used during the whole training process. So, it is recommended to disable it for the last several epochs. Firstly, let's see inside the YOLO V8 messages package. It consists of a messages folder, a CMake lists text file, and a package XML file. In the messages folder, we have definition of our custom messages. The inference result message contains class names and coordinates of two points of a boundary box. The YOLO V8 inference message contains a header message. Header message is generally used to add a timestamp data to a message. This message also contains sequence and frame it data. We also have a defined array of inference result messages. Each detected object will be appended to this array as an inference result message. Now let's see the CMake lists text file. We have to modify this file to compile our messages successfully. Since we are using standard messages, we need to find their definition. The find package command enables the compiler to find a package provided external to the project and load its package specific details. RAW's idle default generators defines the list of default generators which ensures that they are installed as dependencies. To generate a message, we are using RAW's idle generate interfaces method. The Emmet export dependencies exports dependencies to downstream packages. This is necessary so that the user of the library does not have to call find package method for those dependencies too. RAW's idle default runtime provides he make functionality for finding and adding runtime dependencies for RAW's idle packages. There are some modifications to package XML file too. Build tool depend declares a ROS package name for a tool that is executed during the build process. Depend declares a ROS package name that this package needs. Exec depend declares a ROS package name that this package needs at execution time. Now let's see the YOLO recognition package. In this package, we have a node which publishes inference results of YOLO, and a node which subscribes to the published topic and draws an image using OpenCV. We are using the latter node just to ensure that we have published inference results of the former node correctly. Here is the code of the node which publishes YOLO inference results. In the first line, we are importing YOLO from Ultralytics library. Here, we are importing RCLPy. RCLPy provides the canonical Python API for interacting with ROS2. 
In this part, we are importing image message type which we will use to publish data. We also import CV Bridge Library, which enables us to do conversions between RAW's image messages and open CV images. Here, we are importing previously defined custom messages. In this line, we define YOLO model. Here we are using the smallest model, YOLO V8N. In this line we define instance of YOLO V8 inference message. Here, we are creating a subscriber to camera topic. In this line, we create a publisher to publish inference results as an array. Here, we create a publisher which will publish inference results as an image. In this line, RAW's messages are converted to CV2 image format. Here, inference task is done. In this part, we are adding frame it and time stamp to a header of YOLO V8 inference message. In this chunk of the code, we are putting an array inference results for each object. Here, we extract an annotated image from result and convert it to a ROS message. Finally, the image and inference results are published. Note that we have to clear an array each time a new topic is received. This part of the code is common for every simplest node definition. Firstly, ROS communication is initialized, then we create an instance of a node. Spin in the third line means that the node will be executed until shut down. Now let's take a look at YOLO subscriber code. We will use this code to make sure that we have published boundary box coordinates correctly. The code structure is very similar to the code we saw previously, but there are some differences. Here, we are using a threading library. Threading allows us to have several nodes run concurrently. We using it in main function. Firstly, we create instances of two nodes. One node will subscribe to a YOLO inference results topic, and another node will subscribe to a camera image topic. To execute these two nodes concurrently, a multi-threaded executor is used. After instantiating a multi-threaded executor, each node is added to the thread pool. The thread pool maintains multiple threads waiting for tasks to be allocated for concurrent execution by the supervising program. Then threads are created and started for multi-threaded executor. In the camera subscriber node, we are subscribing to the camera topic and converting it to the OpenCV format. Note, that we define the converted image as global variable, so that another node can use it. In the YOLO subscriber node we are subscribing to a topic we published in the previous script. Here we are defining a publisher which will publish images with boundary boxes drawn using OpenCV. In this part, we are drawing a boundary box around each detected object using rectangle function. Finally, we are publishing the image. Now we are going to install required libraries. Install Python 3 pip. PIP is a package management system used to install and manage software packages written in Python. Install the Ultralytics package. If you are installing all related packages, it may take about 40 minutes depending on your internet speed. Install Gazebo. Install the Python 3 Colkin common extensions. Colkin is a command line tool to improve the workflow of building, testing, and using multiple software packages. It automates the process, handles the ordering, and sets up the environment to use the packages. Next, install the ROS Foxy Gazebo ROS packages. 
This package provides interface for using RAWs with the Gazebo Simulator. Now let's do the simulation. Please download zip file from the Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. Move these models to the Gazebo directory. Move to the YOLOBOT directory and execute the Colkin build command. Connect your joypad to the computer. To launch the simulation, execute the source command and launch the YOLOBOT launch PI script. Open another terminal. Execute the source command and then execute the ROS2 topic list command. This is the custom topic we have previously defined. By executing ROS2 topic echo command, we can see that recognized object information is being published as we intended. Now, open our Viz2. From the Add button, select Image of Inference Result Topic. This image shows objects recognized by YOLO. Now let's check that we are publishing boundary box information correctly. Open a new terminal. Execute source command and execute YOLO v8 ROS2 subscriber pi script using the ROS2 run command. From our Viz Add menu select the Image of Inference Result CV2 topic. We can see that boundary boxes drawn using CV2 are in the same locations with that drawn by YOLO.